So I'm about to start getting this ready to take the head off. Uh, mine's missing every single bolt through all this. So I'm just gonna skip past taking all this bars and stuff off and get right to taking the header and valve cover and all that good stuff off. So I got all the easy stuff off. I actually think that the reason why it blew is possibly from this PC vac PCV valve being kinked. Not for sure, but when I put it back together, I'll make sure to get this to where it doesn't do this. So I want to leave as much stuff connected as possible. So I'm just going to unbolt the intake from here and unbolt the fuel rail and all from here. That way I don't have to worry about remembering where stuff goes. So I've got all the bolts out of the valve cover. So I'm just going to take this off and hope it looks decent. And you can see there's a little bit of water in there, but nothing too terrible. So don't do like me and forget that these two lines up here exist and let the antifreeze come out as soon as you unbolt the head gasket. So be sure to take those off. So I got the head gasket off. Of course, being that I forgot to drain the coolant, it had coolant all in the pistons and everything. So that's really dumb. Be sure to drain that beforehand. But I mean, I couldn't really ever see anything that was really wrong with the gasket. Um, it's metal, so I don't really know how I'd see it anyway, but you can see the remnants of the oil and water that was seeping through. So I guess all there is to do is put the new gasket on it and see if it does it again. This is the head. You can see the mix there. I went ahead and wiped down the bottom side just because. You can also see all the oil and water on the pusher rod, so I'm gonna have to make sure to clean this engine out really good beforehand. So since I blew the head gasket the first time, I'm using this OEM Polaris. Hopefully it goes better. And I've cleaned the surface of the top of the cylinder and the bottom of the head. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the head gasket on and I really hope that it's not a warped head or anything like that, so I haven't wasted my money. So when you torque the head down, you need to make sure that you use the correct sequence. And I'll put the sequence up in a picture right about now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and torque these down in that sequence and it's 35 foot pounds. Let it sit for a minute and then turn it 90 degrees. rocker arms and the valve cover are now on. Now I'm going to put the injectors and all the wires back on it. So I have the head gasket replaced now. I've been riding it around for a little while now and it doesn't seem like it's blowing. So hopefully everything stays working as it should. Um, it doesn't take gas as good as it should. Like if you give the throttle at random times, sometimes it'll try and cut out and not go anywhere so there's definitely something still up with it it doesn't run perfect but it does run a lot better than it was previously 
I'm leaving the back off of it for now because I do not want to risk any of this stuff getting crimped or anything. And I also don't want to put all the back on it just to pull everything back off again because something tears up. So once it has a decent amount of time on it, I'm going to put the back on it. Also, I have to find the bolts because when I got it, the bed and everything was just laid in the back of a truck, not even on it. So I don't really have any of the bolts. In the future, I'm going to have to replace all of the axles. This one is broken. This one doesn't look it at the moment, but it's broken on at least some part of this. It was the only good one. Now it's not good anymore. In the front, they're really bad as well. I ordered one because I was going to do the backs first. Now I need two for the backs. I have the rear wheel bearings as well as some brake pads as well. Um, I'm going to try one day to get this radio working again. There's some tweeters up here that are cut out. There's no actual real speakers in it but the radio does work. It's connected to my phone and all. But at the moment, it's running, and that's really all I need it to do at the moment. I don't really know what my future plans for this is. I don't ride it all that often, but maybe if it was put together, I, maybe I would more. But I'm gonna keep it around, see what's going on with it, and if I like it, I'll keep it, and if I don't, I may get rid of it. I'll start it up for you. So if you enjoyed this video and this is the first video that you're seeing, be sure to check out the previous two videos on this razor right here. And if this is your first time on the channel, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to check out the other videos. We have videos of all kinds of different things. And also, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down below. And thank you for watching.